Hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I've got some more original pressings to show you. Uh, we start off with the Trilobites and the album called American TV. Uh, they were an Australian garage rock band from the 1980s based in Sydney. Uh, it was released on uh, Citadel in 1989. Um, it's an album that brings together their first four singles uh, plus a couple of live tracks. Uh, like many rock bands from Sydney in the 1980s, they were influenced by local heroes uh, Radio Birdman, who'd been signed to Sire in the late 1970s. Uh, the sound wasn't as heavy as Radio Birdman. Uh, in fact, uh, vocalist uh, Mike Dalton, uh, to me, sounds um, disconcertingly like a uh, roughed up version of Tony Hadley. Um, what the label's done is not to put the singles out in chronological order and, and so the album uh, flows uh, much better than it would have done. Um, the songs have 60s pop structures, it just lacks the quirky uh, pop culture references that fellow Sydney band uh, the Hoodoo Gurus managed to include. Uh, but it's still a nice album and, I, and I'm glad to have it and uh, Citadel is uh, a, a really um, good label if you do see any of their pressings. Uh, I'll just show you the, uh, the logo for the Citadel. Okay, and uh, moving on we have uh, Dr. Feelgood and uh, Stupidity which came out on United Artists in 1976. Um, they're a band that really got back to the roots of uh, UK rock and roll and took their inspiration uh, from Johnny Kidd and the Pirates. Uh, Wilco Johnson, uh, the guitarist, played simultaneous lead and rhythm guitar, which was a technique that Mick Green from the Pirates had developed in the early 60s. And uh, Lee Brillo is a brooding, menacing presence on vocals and occasional harmonica, and they're backed up by John B. Sparks and the big figure who uh, play minimalist, uh, perfect bass and drums. Uh, I saw them live in 1977 and was, was well impressed. Uh, this live album uh, takes recordings from uh, two locations, uh, Sheffield City Hall in May 75, uh, which is pretty good, but then side two was a hometown gig in November 75 at Southend Kersel, and it's uh, absolutely electrifying. Um, apart from I'm a Man, um, it's uh, a really good perform, a really good album rather throughout, and uh, full of raw intensity, and you can really see how a lot of the early punk bands uh, took influences from Dr. Feelgood. I know Johnny Rotten, for example, uh, was impressed with uh, Lee Brillo as a frontman. Okay, moving on, and we have uh, the album Arrival by ABBA, which came out on Epic in 1976. It contains three uh, massive singles, Dancing Queen, Money, 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 and Knowing Me, Knowing You. Um, on an original pressing and in an album setting, uh, these singles thrill uh, anew. So uh, Dancing Queen, for example, is a masterclass in, in pop production. And uh, the odd burst of violin is just uh, one element which helps, uh, lifts, uh, helps lift this song to another level. Uh, the drumming by Ola Brunkett on uh, Knowing Me, Knowing You uh, also really hits you on, on a vinyl pressing. Um, Probably the worst track on the album is Dum Dum Diddle, which has embarrassing uh, nonsense bubblegum lyrics, uh, but uh, I still find myself singing along on the chorus to it. Um, the instrumental title track really shows off the prowess of the studio musicians, and the best of the deep cuts for me uh, is Tiger, uh, which has lovely ethereal vocals in, in the, in the post-chorus, which are, are just magical. Uh, didn't show you the back of the album. Okay. Next up we have Crazy uh, Cavern and the Rhythm Rockers, Our Own Way of Rocking, uh, which came out on the Charlie label, which uh, 
uh, specialised in uh, reissuing old rock and roll at that time and, and old blues records. But uh, So this was a, a bit of uh, a change to have a, an original album on the label. I'm not quite sure of the release date of this. It doesn't actually say on, on the uh, record, but I think uh, possibly it was 1977. Uh, Crazy Cabin and the Rhythm Rockers are uh, Welsh rockers who really deserve to break into the mainstream uh, along similar lines to say uh, Shakin Stevens uh, who also came from Wales. Uh, Crazy Cavan Grogan had a voice uh, almost as good as uh, Gene Vincent or, or Eddie Cochran and uh, the guitarist Lyndon Needs um, could really unfurl a precise guitar solo in the same sort of style as uh, the rock and roll greats like James Burton. Uh, to top it all, Grogan and Needs were, were good songwriters. They didn't just rely on cover versions of the old rock and roll songs. And um, uh, their songs were often in the style of, uh, the originals, often in the style of Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran, um, Sun Period, Johnny Cash. But uh, there's one track on here especially, um, My Little Sister's Got a Motorbike which really should have graced uh, the pop charts and uh, it would have been great to have seen them performing this on, on uh, Top of the Pops in the studio. And uh, that's the back of the album. Okay, and next up we have uh, 10cc, um, another really well-known album, uh, Sheet Music, and this came out on the UK label and was released in 1974. And there's some of the details on the back. They're obviously a very lyric, lyrically uh, quirky band, which which some people found uh, irritating, but uh, I, I really enjoyed. Uh, they were always prepared to experiment within the pop format. Um, Graham Goldman, many years later, said of sheet music that it was uh, 10CC's uh, definitive album. Uh, it was certainly the album where all four of the songwriters were firing on all cylinders. Uh, like Abba's Arrival, uh, there's much to enjoy beyond the hit singles. And uh, the hit singles on this album were uh, The Worst Band in the World, The Wall Street Shuffle and uh, Silly Love. Uh, Old Wild Men is my favourite of the, the deep cuts. It uses uh, multi-tracked uh, backing vocals uh, to lift what is already a McCartney-esque uh, uh, minor key delight. And they repeated the trick a year later on the number one hit, I'm Not In Love. That's it uh, for now. And I will be posting another video of uh, some original pressings in a few days once I've had a chance to listen to them. So. Uh, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it would be uh, great if you uh, would please subscribe and uh, it would be really good if you could leave some comments below 